Hello, hello. This is Robin Sampson with Bible Journal Classes. I wanted to show you some different ways that you could print out your verses on fabric for the Bible tags. We are doing a challenge. It's called the 52 Bible Tag Challenge. And each week, I put a mini Bible lesson on my blog with a theme and a prompt. The prompt is a theme and a idea of, I think this one was applique. I, butter, I did a applique a butterfly, two butterflies on this page. And you visit, you read the, the Bible study, and then you pick a verse. I just give you a list of where you can get the verses. On that theme, this one happened to be blessed, and this word blessed came from um, my Etsy shop. But the Bible verse, fabric, I do different ways, and I just wanted to share with you how I do that. I purchased fabric sheets to use in my inkjet printer. Sew so in color fast fabric sheets for inkjet printers, and I bought 25 sheets. And I'll leave a link below where you can get it. However, um, it is expensive, but I had a lot of printing to do, so I went ahead and, and I didn't have a lot of time, so I went ahead and invested in this. But you can do this cheaper, and I have done it this way, and it's pretty easy, by taking a piece of cotton 8.5 by 11 and ironing it onto freezer paper, trimming it, and running it through your printer. So that will save you some money if you want to do it that way. And there's lots of YouTube videos that will show you step-by-step step how to do that. But for right now, this is how I'm doing it. So, But to get it to here, how do you get your verses? Well, there's several different ways, and that's what I wanted to show you. Now, one way is you can go over to my Etsy shop, or you can, you probably, most of you who have done my classes already have several of these verses. So you can just go in and drag and drop a verse. Let me go get one here. The page. But now you have to size it. How do you know that's going to fit on your tag? So instead of eyeballing it, um, let me just show you how I do it. So I make a, a white rectangle three and a half inches wide because all of my all of my tags are three and a half inches by six inches. And the reason I decided on that size is because I have an AccuQuilt die that cuts them out. And it'll cut out the fabric, the backing, and the, the batting that I use. So now we want to see how this will look on the three and a half by 11. So we're going to take on the layers palette, drag your rectangle underneath your image, and you want to leave a little room on top because I do slice the corners off of my tags. You can see that when I, after I printed out the rectangle, I used a blanket stitch to print it on. And I'm pointing that out because a couple of times I've printed this out and did not leave enough room for the stitching. So it's very important that once you... Now you're not going to print out this 3.5 by 6 rectangle. That's just for size. So you're going to hide that because that's not going to be printed. But what you are going to do is drag and drop a rectangle around this so that you can have, make sure you have plenty of stitching room on each side. And then you can center that. And what you're doing is you're making a cutting line. That's all that is. And you can cut out outside of it or inside of it. It depends on if you want that to be shown on your tag or not. So that's one way. Now I'm going to give you, I'm going to save this. I'm going to group it by Command-G on a Mac, Control-G on a PC, and hide it and bring that rectangle back up. My, I'm going to call this tag template. Remember, we're not going to be printing this. We're just using this as a sizer. Let me get grab that, and I'm going to put this down here. Now... We started with 8.5 by 11 because that's the sheet that you're going to print. In your You want to get as many Bible verses as you can on one sheet before you print. Print out one, you're going to waste all that fabric, and it's not cheap. Now I'll show you how I do my rectangles and word strips. And I'm going to go over to Bible Gateway and grab a verse. I'll do Romans 8.28, one of my favorites. And we know that all things God works for the good of those who love him who are called according to his purpose. And we're going to use this little box here. 
the character box. Get that out of the way a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is see how big we want this on this tag. The text is 18, which is plenty big to read on a tag. But this space in between, which go right over here, we're going to make 24. And I, I want it even bigger. Let's try 36. You have to pull the little rectangle down to see all of it. And let me add the reference, Romans 8, 28. And now I like to play with the, the text. I'm going to start with we. We know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. And I don't, you don't need the comma when you're making a return space. Who have been called according to his purpose. So we can leave it like this, which I have done a, with a couple of tags. Like this one, I've done printed out the verse like this, just put some space in between. And then I... And don't look too close at my stitching. I am learning with, along with you guys. So I just stitched to highlight a few of my favorite words in this verse and threw a little hearts in there. And here's another one where I just took the verse just like this. And this one didn't even have any space in it, and I didn't do any embroidery. And I just printed it. Um, this one's printed on a thicker fabric than cotton, but normally I just use cotton. This is one I did do on freezer paper. Okay, now I, I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller because we know this is going to be my tag size. So I want to have enough room to put whatever prompt butterflies or flowers or buttons around it. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller and bring it down a little bit just while you're looking at it. Okay, and if that looks good to you, then that could be printed like that. So that's one option. This is one option. You can make some of the words bigger or bold or change the fonts. Now let's look at a second option and grab that text and I'm going to change it to a script and now you can see it looks a lot different on the tag so I'm going to change the size of the text. I'm going to leave the Romans that size I'm going to bring that text up quite a bit. And I still feel like this fits really well here. So I think that looks neat. And that gives me a, a lot of things that I can do around it. But I'm going to hide the tag template and then drag another, my cutting line, around this verse. and then center it and that's ready to go. Now this is an eight and a half by eleven page and we've got lots of room so we want to go ahead. Now let's draw some rectangles around each line. I'm going to drag each rectangle. Make sure you leave enough room around each sentence since you're going to be stitching around, you need enough room around each one. So I'm, well, I'm going to lock the layer of the text. And I try to make the rectangle as long as the longest one. And when I get that right, I'm just going to copy it. Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. And I'm just going to place each one. Copy it and place copy it. I don't mind that these overlap because that's a cutting line so I'll just cut there. Now if you wanted that line to show on your fabric tag you might want to put even more space in between. But I usually use this as a, a, a cut guide and because I stitch over it it usually doesn't show. 
And you could make the, the lines gray if you want to make sure they don't show. So now you're going to cut it out. This is your cutting lines. And once you cut it, you can cut it out like, you can print it out like this, but when you cut it, you could cut it out shorter. Like this tag, for example. So you could cut it out the size of the word. And I used a, a kind of a funky uh, typewriter font here. And this is how that tag worked out. So you can see, I didn't have a whole lot of room for stitching. I wished I would have left a little bit more room. So make sure that you leave plenty of room for stitching. So I try to put as many verses as I can on one 8.5 by 11 sheet so I can take advantage of the fabric and not waste any. And here's how this sheet turned out. So I have one with word strips, a couple of rectangles, and then six verses from my Etsy shop or from one of my classes. So real quick, here's just a couple of tags that I've done and different ways I've done them. And this one, I also did a blanket stitch. I did a red blanket stitch. And then I ran some yellow and blue through the blanket stitch. And there's a, if you check on the videos on embroidery stitches, you could type in border embroidery stitches to get ideas like this. And this one, you can see I altered the size of the words in the verse. And then I cut, I put a rectangle around the whole thing, printed it out, but embroidered only the bigger words because it just wouldn't have looked good on the littler words. And this is washable. The fabric will not bleed because the fabric, the, the text will not bleed or disappear because I did, I did buy color fast fabric sheets. For more information, join our Slow Stitch Bible Journal Facebook group. Bye-bye for now.